Hey everybody, welcome to Cherokee Valley Farms. This is Farming Simulator 19, and in front of me is a Fenton Vario 930. That will be our ride today. This is a small farm with a big tractor. Uh, we got the chisel plow on today. Uh, tractor's probably complete overkill for it, but whatever. We got a cornfield uh, we're gonna be plowing under today. We are in early winter here in Cherokee Valley. Uh, just got done with harvest. The augers are put up, the grain bins are packed full, and uh, we're trying to get a little bit of wheat in right now, and uh, I think we got two fields of that we're going to put in yet, and in fact, I'm going to show you our plan here. So everything's been harvested, we got one field of wheat in down here, we're probably going to put 22 and 19 into wheat as well previously those were soybean fields um so we need to do that and then all these little brown areas are forests on the map and we're going to try to take out a lot of those this winter and make um you know some more farmland for us we're going to need uh more farmland more uh, grass fields for our cows we have a few of them over there to the right so we are uh on the north simulation shaders and uh you can get those on north simulation facebook page the only issue i have with them is as you can see straight ahead uh, and when you look towards the sun and it, it the issue is really brought out even more with seasons when it's kind of supposed to be foggy out or whatever and uh you know kind of it doesn't look so great looking towards the sun like that in the distance, but when you get away from it, man, the game looks fantastic. Uh, it is, we're gonna use the neighbor's driveway here. It's gonna go in right over here. Uh, as you can see, I've taken a, taken a pass around this field. We'll get those blinkers turned off. Um, but yeah, it, it is a little, It'll put a little bit of a load on your computer, um, and you can mess with the settings and bring that down. Get a pretty, you know, you can you can take his stock shaders, and there's a few settings you can change, and you can get quite a bit better frames per second while maintaining the look, which is kind of what I've done. But you'll still need a pretty decent computer to play with these shaders. Uh, I got a 2080 Super, we're at about 37 frames a second on 4K, so if you're in 1080, you'll probably be fine. Uh, but like I said, I love them. I just don't love, you know, when you're looking forward and I've taken seasons out, and it, it does look a lot better, so it's, you know, not his fault. He did a great job on them, and uh, it's just kind of something you got to deal with. Maybe Giants can, in 20, you know, FS 2022, maybe the game will start looking a little bit better. I don't know. But anyway, we are chisel plowing this little field here, and more than likely what we'll end up doing some point this winter is taking these little trees out in this little grass field along our right side here. And we'll just go ahead and combine those two fields together, the corn field and the soybean field. Just make one bigger field. Well, we got several of those this year that we're going to be uh, combining. This is our second year uh, running this farm. You know, see what we got. We got some hay out in the field we still need to bring in before it rots. And uh, we got some manure to clean out of the barn there with the cows. We should get, get that spread on the fields here and then chisel plow it in. There ain't, there ain't much. Maybe not even a full load out there, but still, get that cleaned up and uh, be all good. But uh, if you guys haven't already subscribed, go ahead and uh, go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. Um, just trying to make, again, this, you know, trying to make some different content. I know it's not the normal car videos you guys are used to seeing right now. This is what I have. This is what I can do. And um, you can also follow me over on Twitch, Shifting Gears over there. And uh, we will go live. Uh, not, I don't have an exact schedule right now on when I will go live. Um, but 
normally it'll probably only be on the weekends. Probably more like Saturday nights. Something like that. Okay, so as you can probably tell, we finished up that field chisel plow with the fit. We put it away. It's sitting back behind us, and I thought, you know, why don't we kick it a little old school here with uh, the planting setup? So we got the old John Deere and the old McCormick Deere and planter out. And uh, let's head on down to that, well, what was a soybean field uh, that we're going to plant into wheat. This tractor does seem incredibly loud. Switch to the inside view. So if the uh, sound is, is uh, a little messed up, I apologize for that. Yeah, we'll go down to that, go down to that field and uh, we'll get this thing in there. It's going to take a little while to get down there, so uh, I'll meet you down there. Alright, so we finally got down here. We're just pulling in. Uh, we're right down here on 19, right by the church. And this is going to be our field. And... Drop that down. Yep, we're planting. So yeah, we'll let that work. Let's see if we can hire somebody. Oh, yeah, I'm blocked by me probably. There we go. All right, well, we'll let them do their thing, then we'll hop back over to the farm, probably. Alrighty, guys, so as you can see, we are back at the farm. I decided to unhook the anhydrous from the uh, 4760. We've got our Great Plains tillage tool here. I think this is actually something for minimal tillage. We're going to take it out of that soybean field and uh, break up the field a little bit. Unfortunately, none of the um, drills that we have are uh, no-till on the game at least so we could have bought a pottinger but mm, i figured we just grab the 4760 we'll till that field up real quick and uh you know go from there so we're gonna run down to i think let's double check i think it's 22 yes 22 uh see it's a lot bigger than i thought it was it's a lot bigger yeah she just bought that we have a, there's a potting or cultivator on there too I thought about buying. This just seems like a little overkill, but anyhow, we gotta get down there and uh, get that done. There they are, right there. <laughs> it's awesome. We're not doing the best job of planting, but yeah. So this is... Field 22, I do believe. See how bright that is, just looking straight forward? I thought we had an entrance down here to the field, but... Maybe I'm mistaken. That's going to be one of the little forests we take out. Uh, we're taking that one out. There's several of them. Huh. I could have swore I put a entrance into the field right here. But you know what? get a John Deere so we can just send it ain't that big of a ditch guess I should have used the neighbors driveway over there all right so we need to put those four ways off probably gonna have to drop down a couple gears here you know. crank the RPMs up drop this down to the ground oh yeah I don't know how fast in real life you would uh, run one of these tools. I really don't know. Never, uh, I'm not a farmer, so I've never ran one in real life. But yeah, that's what, we're just going to, uh, oof. I feel like, I don't know, maybe that's fast enough. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and, and get this thing cultivated, and we're going to throw some wheat into it. That will probably conclude our, uh, you know, winter wheat. Uh, 
I mean, I almost feel like we should grow a couple more fields of it. Boy, it's not doing so great. I almost feel like we should grow a couple more fields of it for the cows, but I don't know. We might be okay. We grew a lot more corn last year than we did anything. But I think I grew more wheat. And then just double crop beans into them. But I really want to get on to getting those trees taken out. I mean, if the cows don't have straw, oh well. They should. I still got some left, so. And then I got to decide if I want to make round bales or little square bales. I like the little square bales better, but they're kind of a pain when you're trying to feed them and throw them in the TMR wagon. And so, I don't know. We got to figure that out. Um, but yeah, I mean... We should be all set here pretty soon. We don't have any we don't have any forestry equipment at all, so I have no idea. I own a chainsaw. I'm not really sure if we're gonna go rent. I probably should just back up. I'm not sure if we're just gonna go rent uh some big machines or how we're gonna go about you know doing that. I haven't made my mind up yet. We'll probably we'll probably do that. That would be kind of a cool multiplayer thing. Because it's going to take a little while to get all these trees out, I think. I haven't really done uh, forestry stuff at all. So, that could be interesting. But I do know I want more farmland as much as we can get. Where those cows are right, I took an entire field out. Which was one of the biggest fields on here. Just to put the cows in, so... I suppose we'll uh, get this field finished up here then. Alrighty. Well, as you can see, we are just pulling out of this field. We got that done. And uh, they're still working over there. We'll see if we can see what they got going on yeah, it looks like they're missing some areas there but that field's going to probably be a complete mess well yeah look <laughs> uh, what are they doing what am I doing Alright, well, I guess we'll just leave them to do whatever it is they're going to do. So, we are going to take this back to the house. And, uh... Let's see, I'll stop. Nobody's probably coming. Oh, somebody's definitely coming. I don't know how they didn't hit us, or I didn't hit them. So, we're going to take this back to the house, and, uh... We're just going to get that other field planted in wheat whenever we'll either use the tie drill uh, or we'll run the John Deere over there and finish that up. I'm not sure yet. I haven't made my mind up completely if I want to plant another field or two of wheat. We may, we may not. I probably should, but I probably won't. You can see there our manure pile is starting to get a little bit big. So uh, probably next episode we will clean up the uh, cows. Uh, paint a little bit, get them fed, you know, make sure they're all good. Uh, I got a couple bales out there. You can see out in the distance on the right that I need to go pick up and get them inside. And uh, I really, I mean, I do got some chisel plowing that needs to get done yet. Probably use the fence uh, to do that. And I really want to get this stuff done uh, so that we can move on to um, getting those trees taken down. So that's going to be interesting because I've never done that. Do have a few pieces of equipment, like sprayer right there that we need to get out with the hiccups that you know, I was going to pull inside, but we'll just whip around. Uh, that I need to pull out because I think we're going to be uh, trading those off on some newer equipment um 
But yeah. And yeah, maybe that square baler we might get rid of that. We do have some grain that we need to sell as well if the price has ever come up on that. So I think that's what we're gonna leave it for today. And uh let's see, let's get this thing idled down, shut down. Perfect. Jump out of here real quick. So yeah. Maybe we'll be back in that next time. Like I said, we're going to finish up those fields so that I wheat in that one. And, uh, yeah, we're going to catch you guys next time. So, uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Please leave a comment down below. Like the video. Turn notifications on. Go follow me over on Twitch. Shifting Gears will be going live over there sometimes. Uh, you can head over to Facebook.com and uh, like American Eagles Modding as well. That's where you can get this map at if you like this. AmericanEaglesModding.com, Cherokee Valley. Um, it's a map that we made. It's a small map. So for you uh, small time farmers on this game, this would be right up your alley. Um, and with that, guys, I suppose that we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.